Hello, it's Ruth, otherwise known as the Delightful Planner. I've been very kindly sent a family planner by the Busy Bee Company. Um, I've been a fan of theirs for a while now, as I've actually been using their family wall calendars for several years now. And I actually reached out to them um, when they put a call out because I was planning to move into the family planner from the family calendar just because I was starting to need a little bit more room. Um, I know I've mentioned it umpteen times, but in case you don't know, I'm a mum with three young children, two five-year-olds who just turned five a few weeks ago, um, a two and a half year old, and my children have a far busier social life than I do, and I'm starting to run out of room in the family wall calendar. So, this looks calm at the moment. This is our wall calendar. So this is what it normally looks like. There'll be more bits and pieces that fill in later. I'm trying to fit all of this on the screen. In my odd little setup. Aha, there we are, we'll put it this way. So though it's horizontal, this is so you can see it all. So you get your month like this on the wall calendar. And what I love about the Busy Bee wall calendar and why I've been using them for, it's been at least the last three years, is one, you get six slots at the front because we're a family of five. But then I have an epically large sort of outer family as well. Birthdays and Christmases are epic for us. So I love the fact they had a separate birthday column as well as having the five of the columns. Um, so I've been using these for a few years. That and that. Look, look, pockets. Which is very good if you've got hospital appointments and all the rest that come along with having a family. But... Like I said, I'm showing you that month because that month is calm. <laughs> Last month, when it was the girl's birthday and it was also their friend's birthdays and it was umpteen school events and obviously, you know, I have my events and bits and pieces going on as well. Never mind my other halves and my little boy's schedule and other people's birthdays. We were struggling to fit it all in. So, getting back to the topic, when Busy Bee put the call out... I had to admit I did a little happy dance because I was already planning to try and move next year into the family planner. So I've tried to keep my mitts off and be good. So this is pretty clean, although I've got to admit I did start flicking through and starting to add a few bits and pieces, but I've been good on the whole. Now, the one that they've sent me is this beautiful soft grey and I'll have to admit I'm not normally a fan of grey. So I'm very surprised by how much I like this. But because it contrasts with the purple, they've got the page marker, the elastic band, which is, feels nice and sturdy, and a pen loop. And I have tried this pen loop out already um, on a few pens, and it's nice and stretchy. Because I am a fan of the pen loops, and I always get ones that go with my Leuchtsturms. She says, probably hideously mispronouncing that word. Can't get it in now. But those pen loops when they arrive are stiff and by the time you've had them for a while, look there we are, that slid in nice and easily. This is what they look like, so this is my current large term. And I start pinging out elastic and everything else. To be fair, I know I am quite heavy handed with them. Oh, there we are, my knees in sneaking to frame and I have got a slight cold, so excuse any sniffles that sneak in. Right, back to the planner. But you can see this pen loop, it's a bit stretchier. So you could definitely fit in a much bigger pen if you wanted to. Now, I looked into these planners last year and I was surprised to find out how few people have actually done reviews, which is why I'm doing one on YouTube. Because they're not giving me any money for doing this. They've just very kindly sent me a planner. And I thought I'd do a video anyway. And there we go. So you've got the section at the front where you can say who the planner uh, belongs to. And then you get onto the page where you can add your own personal details, as well as your partner's details. Because we all know there's always one person in each couple who has all of the info and knows all of the things off by heart. What I loved about this, and I have to admit that when I first opened this planner, it made me go, ooh, was it's got a page for your children. Now, at first, I went, oh, it's only got two pages for the children, but it actually has. That's one section, so is there, 
and that there. So you could actually, this is a pay, these two pages, uh, so you can put the details for up to four children on, which is excellent. So you could do it where you obviously you get their name, date of birth. You'd think, you'd, you'd hope, you'd hope you'd know that if you're their parent. But hey ho, um, mobile, school details, the passport numbers even, any health information, um, shoe size, clothes size, and what's really clever is they've actually got sections where you can update that as the year goes on. I think this is amazing because I have to admit at the moment, stuff like this is just stuff I've been holding in my head. You know, I always know the fact that Annabelle and Charlotte are a size 9E for their shoe size and my little boy is a size 8G and the clothes that they need and what do they need at the moment and who needs vests and who needs trousers and who needs everything else. All stuffed in my brain at one time. Really, I should have a spread of my bullet journal. But I have a space to put it here now. I'm not planning to fill in and, you know, produce an extra baby just to fill in space there. That will have to go blank for me. And then after that, this is where you can also add any more sort of details. And they give you sort of... Um, I'm trying to think of the word now suggestions of what you can put there for you know your the contact numbers for national insurance beauticians doctors gym hairdressers nursery even got two different numbers for schools you'd have to hope you weren't going to be at any more than two schools and then a blank page here to add even more contacts and a few more pages after that good websites See, this is why I've loved Busy Bee for years, because they think about these details. Now, this is the bit where I couldn't quite resist, and I started filling in the birthdays for our friends and family. Um, I did say before, didn't I, that I come from a large family. Virtually, like, nine out of ten of these entries are all just my family members. Um, I would hasten to add, I have only got one sibling. It's just because we've all lived in the same area for umpteen centuries. Not an exaggeration. We all know each other and we all stay in contact and we all see each other regularly. Um, which is why I say, you know, Christmases, Christmases, as if there's a plural, Christmas and birthdays are a rather epic affair for keeping up with. And look, you can see from September through October, November, it just goes a bit crackers. So it's good to have a space just to put that in. And then you've got just a quick yearly guide for the 2017 plus 2018. And then you get a little, I mean, this is small. Because, I mean, that's that's probably only slightly larger than a pocket size for each month there that they've put. Because they fit two months on. So that's a very quick reference guide for your months for 2017. And I have to admit, the minute I got to this point, I started thinking, I could use this for work. This would be so good to keep track of when people's holidays are. As well as putting, obviously, any family sort of details on for when the kids' school holidays are. Because you're always having to plan your own leave around sorting um, childcare arrangements out for holidays. Because whilst I'm lucky living in the UK, you know, we get on average four to five weeks worth of annual holiday leave allowance a year um the, the kids are off for far longer <laughs> and the math doesn't quite add up right so we're into the proper weekly layouts now of the planner and what they've got there is they've got reminders down here you've got your own section here for planning out your week and then what i love about this is look here their week and then you've got four slots so it could be, okay, there's your other half's work schedule. What appointments have they got? What do you need to know what they're up to? And, you know, a nice... That came across quite creepy then. But, you know, what, what, what's going on that you need to be sort of aware of? Oh, doorbell. There we go. I'm back. Where was I? It's just the postman dropping off some parcels, getting prepared for Christmas. Oh, right, yes. So what's brilliant here is you get the four different sections over here for mapping out what's going on for your family. So this is like a brilliant overview of what's going on in your family's schedule for this week. So you can have one for your other half's work schedule, stuff that, you know, child one, 
two or three are all getting up to. Um, or it could be, you know, your schedule, the four kids' schedules, anything that you need to keep an eye on. Or if you were using it for work, what you've got going on for your schedule and what's going on for your team over here. You see, I'm getting tempted now. I might have to get another one of these just for work. But no, no, resist, resist. Try not to carry too much. And they have this for each week of the year. So you can see there's January. And then at the end of the month, they have reminders to go there. And look, this, if I can use my virtually non-existent nails, is a pocket. So you can slide bits and pieces in there to like keep appointment letters, other slips and bits that you've got to keep your... You need to know where they are, of which we all know there is many. You know, if the kids get party invites, um, I always like to keep them just so I can actually remember where the party actually is on the day that happens. And then it moves on from January to February. And it follows this setup now. No, I think if I remember correctly, this has got two pockets. So if it's got one at the beginning of the year, I wonder if the next one is at the end of the year, probably. And look at the top here as well, I've just clocked. It gives you the weekly numbers as well, which is good. Um, I do Project Life memory keeping, so I do actually like, I still do the traditional week number, you know, so and so, and this is what happened in our family then. You can tell I'm a talk with your handsy person. I'm finding it very hard to keep them still in this video. So it's just that the colour scheme doesn't change throughout. And you can see it follows the same setup throughout the whole year. And then, yep, yeah, at the end of 2017, which ends on a Sunday. How excited are all those planner people going to be for 2018, which starts on a Monday for January 1st. We then get reminders that we can pop in for the end of the year along with a second pocket. And then you get this full um, vertical, is that a vertical? No, horizontal. Horizontal um, year planner for 2018 for writing things in. Got myself all confused then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, horizontal sorry I'm speeding through this video because it has got to try and fit in during Ben's nap time <laughs> so I'm keeping half an ear out making sure he's not whimpering or anything else upstairs and then got a note section and got how many pages have we got for that one two three four five six seven pages of notes and then look at this don't forget, these are actually little shopping lists. Look, it's, it's perforated. So you can write your little list there for what you've got to pick up at the shops, rip it out and carry it around with you without having to carry your plan around, which I think is really clever. Because I've got to admit, that's what I do with my Malden at the moment. I've just got random bits of paper, which I write my shopping list on. And then when I go shopping, I mean, I, I don't actually technically need to rip it out of my mould and to carry it around. I could unclip it very carefully and even think carry it around that way. But I don't. I just rip it out when I need to and then I go around the shops with my little bit of paper. So how many of these do you get for the year? So you've got, what, two? Although they are double-sided. So if you use both sides, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So you've got two of them for a month, per month. That works out, and that's not too bad. And then at the back, they have actually got a little, ooh, slot there i mean they've put the little thing going slot your busy bee sticky notes in here to keep them handy that well that is nice and sturdy that bit there i have to admit i'm already looking at the pockets here and like i said i am a heavy-handed person this is just the same normal thickness of the page which is quite nice but i'm there going that's not gonna last me a year 
that'll last me a couple of months and I'll have to start taping down the side and not that I'm short of tape being a complete little washi addict that I'm making myself use up at the moment but that one at the back that's really nice and thick and sturdy Ooh. and you see now they're giving the suggestion of sticky notes and they're going yeah I should go and get sticky notes because I'm so short of them what with the um drawful I have upstairs but right yes so that is it that is the busy bee family planner and like I said you know they, they very kindly sent it to me which I'm very pleased about but they didn't send it asking me to review it and all my opinions are very definitely my own as I've given this but I'm really impressed with that I think it's very nice. So, does anybody else um, use Busy Bee at the moment? And if you do, what do you think about it? And if not, what are your plans for 2017? Because there's only two months and it is going to be here, people. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, I'm just popping these videos on as and when I get a chance at the moment. You never know, there might be a schedule at a later date, but we will see. Otherwise, I hope you have a lovely day and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.